Do you ever get that craving for some some fast food? I've had that today, so we're going to dive in to some more Hesburgh. So this one is going to be a little bit different because during October, I've been trying not to eat any meat. So it felt kind of weird ordering from Hes Burger and not getting uh, my usual order, which would be like a beef burger or something. Instead, I think I've ordered every single product on their menu, which contains zero meat. So it's a lot of soy, a lot of uh, their Veke range, whatever that means. But before we rip into these bags, we need to say a quick thank you to today's sponsor, NordVPN. So if you haven't heard of NordVPN, this is probably your first time on YouTube. If so, welcome, it's, uh, it's fun here. NordVPN, of course, sponsor and support a lot of creators on YouTube, for which I am at least very thankful. And I am also very thankful for their product, which is something that I use every single day and I have done for the past year. If you don't know what a VPN does, it basically encrypts your internet connection so that nobody from the outside or anybody that you don't want creeping on your stuff, they can't get in. You download the NordVPN onto any of your devices that can be a phone, tablet, laptop or desktop and you just fire it up, hit connect, bada bing, you're good. But personally, the feature that I use every single day is the ability to unlock content on various streaming platforms which aren't available in your country. And recently, not being able to go back to the UK, I've been missing quite a lot of my British shows. And on Netflix, for example, you can't access a lot of those from Finland. So I fire up NordVPN, connect to the UK, and now I can watch series like one of my favorites, Bottom. And if you haven't watched that and you like kind of rough toilet humor, uh, definitely watch that. It's so good. But if this sounds good to you, I've got even better news. Because now you can get 68% off, plus you get a free month of NordVPN membership. You just go over to nordvpn.com forward slash DaveCad or use coupon code DaveCad at checkout and you can grab this deal. So once again, thank you NordVPN for sponsoring me, sponsoring this video and sponsoring a lot of creators on YouTube. It's very much appreciated. So what vegetarian, uh, is this Veke range vegetarian or is it vegan? I, I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe you guys can help me in the comments. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm hungry. So first off we have, ooh, we got some onion rings. I think I may have tried the onion rings before, but uh, I can't really remember. They smell delicious. So there we have a little onion ring. Hello. We're gonna go through these sides pretty quickly, but that is a good onion ring. Mm. Onion rings are such a simple thing, but man, they're delicious. I would maybe like the onion rings a little bit more crispy on the outside, but otherwise I think they're really, really good. But, I mean, five out of five, really the onion rings. And I was dipping that in the chili sauce, by the way. One of my favorites. And I think we got some fries in here. I've only have ever had the fries when they've been delivered to me. But I, I wonder, what is the general feeling about Hez Burgers fries? Because I love Burger King fries. I think they're the best. McDonald's fries I can take or leave, but the, the Hez Burger ones always seem to be a little bit lifeless. They're not like super, I don't know. I mean, they're, they're like a solid three, but anyway. They're all the sides, I think. Now I'm going to dig into the first burger that we have, the first kind of main burger. Let's see what this one is. I can't really remember. Ah, yes, I think this one is the soy burger. I mean, that's a pretty good looking burger, if you ask me. I mean, more or less exactly what it looks like on the picture. And that, that doesn't often happen. It's almost a shame to eat this. It's so pretty. This is what one of the Veke uh, burgers. So this is the soya kasvis hampuri line. So in this, of course, we have the burger bun. It looks like we got some lettuce and tomato and uh, some kind of mayonnaise. And that that's about it. Maybe there's some kind of other sauce in there as well, but quite simple. I, I like simple. And this burger bun just reminds me of the burgers you get given when you're a kid. I, I love these smooth burgers, burger buns. Anyway, let's try it. I mean, if you'd have given me this and said it was a chicken burger, I would totally have believed you. The the patty or whatever we want to call this, it doesn't have an awful lot of flavor that I can tell, um, but everything else around it, it just makes it taste like a chicken burger. Okay, now I just tried a little bit of the, the soy patty and it's quite tasty. You mostly get the taste of the coating, whatever it is inside. I mean, obviously it's soy, but uh, quite, I don't know, quite, plain, but I mean, it doesn't necessarily need to be very tasty because the outside is very tasty too. So as a general experience, this is very tasty. 
I finished it. I, fi I finished the whole burger. Again, I am very hungry today, uh, but I think that has to mean that that's a five out of five. What's next? Oh, what's this? Ooh, okay, I forgot about these little puppies. So these are the soy fingers, I guess we can call them. Little kind of chicken fingers style, uh, but of course with soy. And I wonder if this is the same stuff as what was in the chicken burger. I mean, the coating looks the same. Uh, I'm gonna bite into it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a, a cross section here because it's quite interesting. It, it looks so strange, like layers. And that unfortunately gives it a little bit of like a compact texture and a little bit strange but the, the seasoning and the coating on the outside is really, really tasty. I'm gonna try it with a little bit of sauce, see if it kind of, I don't know, helps it. So this is again the chili sauce. When you bite these, it's so so strange. It's like you bite and it kind of separates and your teeth just go through. But I mean, the coating, the, the breading is really tasty, very nicely seasoned. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that texture and in the burger, it didn't at all like feel like that probably because it had so much sauce and other stuff around it. Probably wouldn't get these again. They are okay, but they're gonna get two out of five. Mm -hmm. What other goodies do we have in here? So this is the soy wrap. And I wonder if they just reuse the same kind of soy recipe and just put it in here. Yes, guess what they have. There you can take a look. And again, it kind of looks just like it does on the menu. I'm quite impressed. Whoever was working in the kitchen today, they, they deserve, deserve some kind of raise or a medal or something. Because I feel like whenever you order fast food, it never turns up looking half as appetizing as it does on the picture on the menu. But now I just wonder if this is basically the soy burger, but in a, in a wrap. Let's see if there's anything special about this. So inside, ah, okay, we've got a little bit different sauce. We I think we got the chili sauce in this one. Tomato, lettuce, the soy fingers, and uh, some sauce, and that's about it. One thing I will say about the soy is it's quite peppery. Uh, if you don't like, I, I personally quite like that taste, but I feel like if you're quite against like the pepper taste, you're gonna hate this. It's quite strong. But again, similar to the burger, it all just kind of works and it, it tastes really good and you don't get that weird feeling with the soy in this either. Oh. <laughs> Hold the phone. There's little bits of cheese in this, I think. And now I have to check the menu listing because I didn't see anything about cheese. Yeah, Greek style cheese. So kind of like feta cheese, but I guess they can't call it that. Ah, there's also pepper mayonnaise. So maybe that's what I'm tasting, the peppery type taste as well. Interesting. I could have definitely done without that surprise of the cheese. <laughs> I was quite enjoying it without it. But I'm not gonna finish this one just because I have other stuff I wanna try, but this is very good. Uh, I'm gonna give this one a four out of five. It loses a point just for maybe that little bit overpowering peppery taste and uh, could have done without the cheese. Okay, so next burger, this is cute. This is a cute little burger. So this one is the Veke cheeseburger. Unfortunately, we're not looking like a, a menu picture on this one. Uh, we're a little bit, looking a little bit sad, but uh, otherwise it's okay. So under the lid of this, we have uh, some sauce there, the Veke patty, and some cheese as well, making it a cheeseburger. And there is some ketchup, some, <sighs> bloody hell, what are they called? Gherkins, cute, uh, pickles, and some onion, and just relish, basically, and some ketchup. Pretty pumped for this one. Uh, I love cheeseburgers. I love standard, plain cheeseburgers. Again, just like you would have if you're five. <laughs> Smell-wise, it smells pretty much like a cheeseburger, surprisingly. You know what? I went into this taste test thinking that I wasn't really gonna like it anything. Uh, right now, of course, I have a bit more of an open mind than I would if I wasn't doing a meatless thing. But man, I did not taste any difference there whatsoever. In fact, that's quite amazing. Now I'm starting to wonder if they sent me a real cheeseburger by, oh, by accident. I just tried the patty on its own and it tastes, it's not beef, but it tastes, tastes fine and the whole thing wrapped up into a little cheeseburger it's pretty wonderful i'm questioning a lot of things now because this tastes surprisingly good so so again you can't really compare this to a normal cheeseburger um but in this range i think this has to get oh man was it as good as the first one kind of five out of five really good okay i'm getting quite full now okay this is the last thing and actually buying this one hurt a little bit. It hurt me on a very, very deep level because this, my friends, 
is a salad. I ordered a salad from a fast food joint and I think it was the most expensive thing that I did order. Seven euros 50. So I'm gonna be quite critical of this. My immediate thoughts are that I would like my money back. This looks terrible. Is there even anything under all this lettuce? It's literally lettuce the whole way down. Oh, this makes me a little bit mad. Now they do give you a uh, bag of croutons or you can have seeds, I think. I went for the croutons, but quite frankly, I don't know why I would bother. And again, okay, yes, I guess I could put some of this, um, uh, what, oh, bloody hell, why can't I think of words today? Um, <laughs> Cucumber. I, I just can't think of the cucumber type words. Gherkin, pickle, cucumber. Cucumber mayonnaise. I guess I could put this all over it. But essentially, what you're buying for seven euros are onion rings without the good bit on the outside, ton of lettuce, whole tomatoes. They didn't even cut them. And little bits of cucumber. Like, there's no point in trying this. Giant rings of onion, like, what the hell? Oh, I'm gonna have smelly breath all day if I eat those. Okay, no, I, I mean, I refuse. I refuse to accept this. It can't just be lettuce. I mean, I'll eat it. Of course I'll eat it. It's food, but... Uh, so I will try a bite. I'll get a bite of everything. Even a giant onion ring. Okay. Cool. I mean, I guess it's not that bad. The soy sticks are abs actually starting to grow on me. I, I actually quite enjoy the flavor and the, yeah, the whole experience, really. So the cucumber mayonnaise, of course, helps a lot. Maybe I got a little bit angry there before. I'm sorry about that. Regardless, it's going to get a one out of one out of five. The cucumber mayonnaise helps a lot. It's, it's actually, that bite wasn't bad at all. It was actually pretty tasty. But I think it's the concept of a salad at a fast food joint as well that kind of pisses me off as well. <laughs> I mean, by all means, order a salad. Uh, do whatever you want. Someone's got it. Now, I could be wrong, but I think that was all of the vegetarian slash meatless products that they have at His Burger. And the winner is... Da, 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 da. I can't show you because I ate it all because it was delicious. But there we go. That is about it for today, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you, NordVPN, once again, for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the top of the description or go to nordvpn.com forward slash DaveCad or use coupon code DaveCad at checkout for that 68% off plus the one month free NordVPN service. Thank you. Thanks once again for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Yeah.